Are you feeling a little stressed? You know what? You're not alone. Stay tuned. New research tells us that people today are feeling more stress than they did when the pandemic began. Yeah, more stress. And it's 15, 16 months later. Prolonged stress can really affect your mental health as well as your physical health. You know, the Olympics are over and we want to thank Simone Biles for bringing her mental stress to the forefront and making it a conversation. Yeah, she really brought awareness to mental health. And how about Naomi Wasaki when she pulled out of the French Open after, after winning four tournaments? These are Gen Zers. These are people that were born between the years 1996 and 2012. And they're much more open about talking about their mental health and they're bringing it to the forefront. Several years ago, uh, I was working with one of the Big Ten colleges. I was telling them, actually talking to them about Generation Z. And the dean was driving me back to the airport, and he said, I want to tell you something that we haven't talked about, about this, this generation of young kids that are coming into the schools. He said, they want therapists. They want someone to talk to. He said, we're having to find money for this. This was never an issue before, but this was three years ago. He said, we have now got to find money to really help them because they're talking about their stress and their mental health. So that was a warning sign to me that this generation, this generation is different, or at least it's more upfront and talking about their mental health than generations before. Yesterday, I did a program and I got an email from someone. We were talking about mental health and she said to me, why? Why is this generation, they have everything. Why are they so stressed out and why are they so anxious? So let's think about what's changed in the world. Number one, it's we can get news anywhere. We can get it on our phone 24-7, right? And they are getting the news continually every single day. They're worried about climate change. They're worried about social reform. So they've taken the world's problems and they've brought them into their life. Those are things that didn't occur in my childhood and probably most of yours. So it's a different world out there with different news and different ways of getting the news. And it's affecting, it's affecting young people. And it might be affecting you. You see, we, many of us, don't talk about our mental health. Years ago when I was a teacher, we used to say to a fellow teachers, we're going to take a mental health day and kind of wink at each other because nobody ever told their principal or their boss that they needed time off because they were stressed. And you know what? That mentality is still in the workforce today. Deloitte right now is doing a study on mental health in the workplace. And you know what they're finding? They're finding that people are not talking about it to their leaders. They're saying it in a survey. Yes, I have a lot of stress. But when they're asking for time off, they're not telling the true reason. They're making things up. So we've got this mental health awareness going on, thanks to Simone and thanks to Naomi. But right now, what we need in the workplace is mental health literacy. I'll say it again, mental health literacy. We need to be educated. We need to take the stigma away from mental health because more and more of us are finding that we're stressed out. And maybe we need a day off every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, just to regain our energy and to regain our wits. So let's think about what's going on in your workplace. And maybe you can help bring mental health literacy into your workplace. Hey, it's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.